In this session, we will see how to create a key space in Cassandra. And there will be three more topics. Uh, uh, first is uh, what is uh, key space in Cassandra, then how to create it, modify, and finally drop it. So let's see what is a key space. A key space is like an RDBMS uh, database. So what, what it contains, it contains the column families, indexes, user-defined data. So this is a kind of container where it is going to hold all this right and it is an object that is used to hold a column family and a user defined objects and it's a it's a namespace uh, which defines what is the data replication node on uh, nodes in the cluster and uh, you can have uh, one key space uh, per node in the cluster right this is the basic of uh, key space when you create a key space there is an important term which comes into the picture is replication so replication defines like what will be the replication strategy and on how many nodes, if it is a simple strategy, on how many nodes that replica will stand. So we go with the simple strategy, though there are multiple uh, two more strategies for replication. One is network topology uh, strategy. Uh, you can set the replication for a factor for each data center independently and you can go with the old network uh, topology as well. So the first thing which we will do is we will create a, a key space in Cassandra. So how do we create a key space? So to create a key space, we say create key space, key space name. Then we say the replication, the class will be, we, we shared the three classes. So we will go with the simple class, then replication uh, factor on how many nodes do you want this to be configured. So you know, we'll go with the one, two, or three, whatever you like, then we will modify the replication factor. Then we will try to alter uh, the key space which we have created. Once it is done, uh, we'll see if the changes has uh, uh, appeared or then finally we'll drop the key space, right? So let's start with the small demo. It's a very small demo. Uh, I'm already logged into Cassandra and I'm going to log into CSQL as such. Sorry. CQL as such. This is the command line for the Cassandra. So, what we will do is we are going to create a, a namespace with the name uh, EMS and then we will uh, verify that. Let's first of all see uh, if there is any key space existing or not. If it is there, we'll drop that. Okay. Fire the other command as well, which is select star from uh, system schema dot key spaces. So you don't see any uh, one which you have created. So we'll go and create the first one. So it is like create key space, key space name with replication. Then we have set a simple strategy and the replication factor we have given three. Now let's describe the key space and uh, then say select star from system underscore schema dot key spaces. So you can see uh, there is uh, EMS key space which is created. Durable writes by default it is true. If you want, you can turn it off in your simple strategy. And replication factor is three. We'll try one more uh, demo wherein we will alter this from the replication factor three to one, and then we will verify it. Let's execute it. So we just said the altered key space, key space name with the replication and replication factor is modified from three to one. Let's verify it. Um, you can see EMS earlier it was a replication factor 3 now the replication factor 1 is there and finally in this demo let's drop the key space and let's verify it we have dropped the key space now let's verify it so EMS doesn't exist uh, this is a very basic um, demo and uh, this is how we, what is a key space, how to create, alter and drop. I hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.